Hey everyone, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn Modern Day Mod here today on the channel. We're back with episode 5 of our Swedish series. Well, technically, we're playing as Scandinavia. We've formed the Kalmar Union and have united the Nordic countries. So we're going to be declaring war upon Ukraine here today. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. We're going to liberate the old Viking lands of Kiev and Rus, and we're going to try and march on Kiev. Now, India, Japan, uh, the US have made an alliance and Germany and uh, going to war with China, so that's something. I would have liked to go against Germany, but unfortunately they factioned up. So we have the Baltic. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that might be GG's then. Uh, we might be able to annex them quick enough. Oh no, they joined the um, American Alliance. We can't integrate China into this one, can we? Oh no. Well, that might be GG's then, unfortunately. I, I I can't see us defeating Germany, India, and Japan all together. Yikes. Can we invite them? Oh, no. Well, that might be GG's for the series then. Okay, we're going to try and rush Ukraine and uh, see how we go. We have 75 divisions. Poland's coming. We've got the might of the Baltic... The Nordic countries. So India hasn't been called in. Same with Germany. No US troops have arrived. Unless China can try and hold. We're rapidly pushing against them now. Can we conquer the country before the Americans come in? So we're leaving the German border undefended for now. As they haven't been called in. Okay. Unfortunately, American troops on the ground have arrived in Ukraine. We haven't taken their capital quick enough. They're focusing over there. The Japanese have a beachhead in China. Okay. Interesting. Damn. We took, what, Norway? Poland? Without the British or the Americans getting involved. But this time around, unfortunately, <laughs> the Swedish Empire probably bit off more than what it can chew. Oh no. Are we about to be thrown back to another huge amount of centuries of peace? <laughs> I can't see us defeating this huge coalition. Yeah, look, maybe if it's just the Ukraine and the Americans, we might be able to do something. Um, but with Germany and uh, Japan and India, not so much. Uh, we'll, try, we'll try and um, negotiate with the the CPC, but We'll see. Okay, so now they're starting to invade in the north, yeah. I guess they're navally invading. Oh, that's annoying. Welp. Not much. You can really do about that. So I guess we'll just try and... We're already here. We might as well just try and capitulate them. See if we can win this war. For my own curiosity. But we're probably just going to straight up capitulate. Ah! That's it sometimes. In uh, Hearts of Iron 4, sometimes the Americans just... Gang up on you, I suppose. I wonder, maybe pushing in Romania. Going against one of the weaker factions. Interesting that they, um... Allianced up. It sometimes happened, but, uh... That's Hearts of Iron 4 and playing with Chaos AI and... I believe there was probably a new update as well. We're playing on 1.9, but... Yeah, unfortunately, even though we had NATO turned off... America basically made its own... version of a weakened NATO. Okay. A little bit of breaking out there. But... Scandinavia... 
is about to fall. I'm curious to see how the Americans partition the states. Yeah. GG's. GG's all around. Unfortunately, we're going to lose. But hey, that's Huts of Iron 4. That's the sandbox experience. You win some, you lose some. Uh, I don't think there was a way for us to stop the Americans. And also, like, I guess you could navally invade from, like, what? Greenland? <laughs> Big. America basically just uh, came in. Interesting that they're... Oh, they're really pushing. They're probably going to annex China now as well. All right. Well, basically, this series is uh, done and dusted. That was a bit of fun. Conquering the Scandinavian countries. Did well in the Baltic. That Polish war was really quite fun. But overall, the Swedish Empire in its small reign is about to fall. 51k. Yeah, they're really holding us. Just waiting for them to capitulate me now, more or less. So, tomorrow, we're not going to do episode 6. We're going to move on to something else. So, let me know in the comments. There's still a fair few European countries to play as, but maybe I should play as one of the major powers. Maybe I should redo an American series, playing on version 1.9. I am open to that. It's nearly been a year or two since I've played as America. Haven't tested them out on 1.9. Um, maybe we could redo Germany, potentially. <laughs> Japanese military forces have landed in Ukraine. Interesting. We're actually starting to push them there. Japanese troops in Krematorsk. We still haven't capitulated fully yet, though. Okay, they have air support over the top. Can we capitulate them now as we push to Kriviri? Doesn't seem likely. I guess they're focusing on more of their military on our, um, core territory. Yeah. It largely, even if, um, we were to properly hold our territory back in the north, it probably would have just ended in a stalemate. That's just it. Unless you're a huge major power. If America joins in, or China, it's, uh, basically GG's, unfortunately. Are we going to be able to capitulate them? Oh, we're going to come close. So we are going to win this war, maybe, in Ukraine. Nope. We've capitulated. The Treaty of Stockholm. No! Dark times. So, let's have a look. Denmark, Poland, Sweden, puppeted, Baltic states liberated. Okay. So, they've made their faction interesting. So... Sweden is its own faction. Same with this. Okay, so you nearly would um, call it different. So this is what we control now. <laughs> so Poland has been partitioned into two states. Denmark, Norway, and Sweden have made their own faction. And there's like southern Finland. And then there's the Baltic states have been liberated. But our government has been moved to that Prussian territory. <laughs> That's so bizarre. It's always cool to see how the AI, like, partition stuff. So there's uh, a couple small Scandinavian factions. Okay, Denmark's back. All right, well, unfortunately, on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope you've enjoyed this Swedish series. Stay tuned for a new series coming at the exact same time tomorrow. My name is Ben Simsy. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.